Thank you. Hello! What's up, guys? Hello from Turks and Caicos. I just got to the house. I am here for a long weekend. I got on a like 6 a.m. flight, so not really wearing any makeup. Got up at 4 o'clock in the morning to make my flight. I am here for a long weekend with one of my old friends. We used to work together years and years ago, and she started this amazing company called Mun Sun Retreats. And we are doing one of her trips. She organizes group trips for women and this is incredible. She has rented out an entire villa in Turks and Caicos, and we literally just walked in the door. I gotta show you my room. It is so cute, and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the house throughout the day. Let's go. So, I've already taken off my shoes. You can see my Bomba socks, but this is when you come in, you face the bathroom, and there are so many closets, and I think it's because this is a home. So if someone bought the house or like lived in the house full time, they would need all of these closets. Over here is the bathroom. It is humongous. It has the double sinks, which I love, you know. And there is a separate toilet vestibule. It's windowed and there is a giant shower. Over here is the bedroom part of the room and it is surrounded by windows and greenery. I don't know if you can see, but it's basically, it feels like we're like in a rainforest kind of. There's a desk and a chair there, an armchair over there, television, and the giant bed. So I am here with friends for a long weekend, Memorial Day weekend. I usually don't travel during Memorial Day weekend because it is so busy. And this morning there was traffic going to the airport at 5 a.m. Like we were stuck on a very long line outside of the terminal. It was super intense. So I'm glad I left really early. The line at security at the airport was insane. Like I've never seen anything like it. And I think these long weekends also bring out a lot of travelers who don't usually travel. So there are people who would like bottles of water at the at security and um, clearly they didn't realize you can't bring bottles of water through TSA. So a lot of delays like that this morning, but we are here just fine. Everything was great. I flew JetBlue, very happy, super excited to be here. I don't know about, maybe I'll take a shower. I'm gonna try to put on some clothes that look like I'm on an island and not like this like drab black and gray stuff that I've been wearing. I I can't express how excited I am to be here and I'm so excited to be part of something that like one of my friends started. I being an entrepreneur is so hard and like I just I'm so proud of my friends when they start cool things. Anyway, I'm also excited to be here because this has been a very, very long week at work. I got back from Montreal last Sunday, last Sunday, the middle of the day, and then work has been non-stop, I think pretty much every single day this week. I've had to be up at five and like in the office by 7.30 because we've had so many things going on. And it was only really like a four day week for me. So I'm so excited to be here. This is gonna be a great vacation. Okay, I'm gonna get ready and go outside and maybe get a snack because I'm super hungry. Good morning, you guys. It is my second day in Turks and Caicos. Yesterday we flew in super early, so yesterday was sort of like a weird blur of a day. We got here and I think I got on like a 6 a.m. flight. I got up at like 4 a.m., left New York at like 6.45, got here around 10, came directly to the villa. So my friend Georgia rented a private villa. She started this company called Munsun where they create and like curate these small group trips for women who love to go on vacation but who don't have time to like make their own plans and stuff. It is such a cool idea and I'm so excited to be on one of her trips. So far it has been stellar, like perfect. Every detail is taken care of, it's incredible. Anyway, more on that later but 
Yesterday was kind of like a blur because we're going from having like super, like a bunch of us who are on the New York flight are like, we work in offices and these very, very high pressure jobs. And all of us had a pretty anxious week. I think it's that week before summer starts where everybody is trying to cram in everything they're trying to do before summer starts. So my week was totally bananas. So I arrived here exhausted from having like slept very little the night before but also like at like this high level of anxiety and as soon as you as soon as we got here the feeling was like literally we walked into the villa and you see the ocean in front of you because you literally walk in and like the entire house is like all windows so you see the ocean it's like directly in front of you there's like nothing on the ocean there are like no boats there's no people it's just pure clear water and we have like an infinity pool that like goes right over it's it's just the most beautiful place you have this instant sense of calm and after like four or five hours all the cells in my body i can't describe it any other way they, it's they started to relax and i feel like i almost need to like meditate this morning to really bring myself into the present because even last night i was like am i supposed to be anxious am i supposed to be calm um and to be honest, this is like the most vacation-like vacation I've been on in years where there's like no pressure to do anything. It's totally chill. We're in this perfect, serene, relaxed, totally beautiful environment. And there's just like no pressure. Like I'm not even wearing makeup. I think I'm gonna try to make this a no makeup vacation, which I honestly haven't had since I guess I went to Rancho Pescadero years ago, but like by myself. Even though we're here with like a bunch of people from New York and Florida who are all like very, very high achieving women, there's a sense of, there's a sense of community here and a sense of just like, we're all here to just relax and have like the best weekend ever. This afternoon, we are going on a boat cruise to go snorkeling, which I'm also really excited about. A little bit nervous, because I've been Googling a lot of like, what to do if you meet a stingray? What to do if you meet a shark while you're snorkeling? The last time I went snorkeling was years ago in Peter Island, in the Virgin Islands. And the one thing I didn't realize about snorkeling, and this is like my New York kid side coming out, was that when you get in the water and you can see everything else in the water, you become acutely aware that you are not in the water alone. So you are in the water with like millions of fish and other wildlife and plants and all that stuff. And I don't think I was like mentally prepared for it. So I like freaked myself out and I saw like a barracuda and I immediately got out of the water. So I think that like this time when I go snorkeling, I'll have a better idea of what to expect, which is probably better for me. And plus this time we're going with like a bunch of people. Last time I went by myself on a secluded beach. So I really did not feel super safe. Um, and for no reason, like snorkeling is totally safe and totally fine. So this time I think it'll be a little more guided, which will be really good for me. I even brought my GoPro. And honestly, like this is a GoPro 5. I bought this early last year and I've never really used it because it's really a sports camera. It doesn't sound super useful for anything else. You can like vlog on it and stuff, but it's, it's not like great quality for like land lovers and like normal everyday activities. But it is designed for things like underwater stuff and sporty things and I am not sporty. So I thought I would take this opportunity to use it. Um, I'm gonna try to capture some underwater footage using it. I have a wrist strap and stuff. So hopefully that works out. Hopefully it's a really clear day. But first, I think we're gonna have some breakfast. We have a chef who comes to the villa and cooks these beautiful custom meals for us. I'm so excited for breakfast. I've already had my coffee while everyone else is working out. And all right, let's get the day started.
day three in Turks and Caicos. I just woke up and I'm sitting by the pool. It is a cloudy day, but hopefully it'll clear up. Yesterday it sort of burned off. Yesterday was like the best day on the boat. It was so fun and I was so tired last night. Um, check out the view. Hey guys, it is the third day at Turks and Caicos and we've just been hanging around the house all day, like totally chilling. It's been so quiet and so nice. I think everyone's really tired from all of our fun yesterday on the boat. Tonight, we are heading down to the conch shack. I can't say it, the conch shack. And we're gonna have conch. And I don't, I don't know if you guys remember from my Bahamas video, the conch salads are incredible. I'm a huge fan, I can't wait to have some. All right, let's go. That's it, you guys. That was the last night on this retreat in Turks and Caicos. I'm about to pack my suitcases there. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys my fried chicken beach towel, but um, there it is. It's a... KFC fried chicken sandwich beach towel. Um, never not on brand. So I am gonna start packing. We are leaving super early tomorrow morning, heading back to New York. Hopefully flights are not delayed because of the hurricane happening in the Gulf. Um, I hope everything over there is okay. And I will see you back on the ground in New York City. Bye, hope you had a great weekend.